Hello, and thank you for joining me today. Today, I want to talk about or answer this particular question. Can everybody stop eating meat? Should everybody stop eating meat? Should everybody be a vegan? <laughs> We're going to answer that question today based upon my journey, based upon my knowing, based upon my research as a holistic um, healer, as a herbalist, as someone that has tapped into my inner being, someone who's been sick and healed and saved myself. I would, the short answer to that is, to me, no, I don't believe that that's necessary. <laughs> hey, Neff. And the reason why I say that and the short answer is no is because we all have this genetic makeup. We all have a, this DNA that's really, really um, like our footprint that nobody else is experiencing on that frequency, our carbon footprint. And well, well, I don't want to say nobody else. There's certain groups of people that experience our carbon expression of life the same. And the reason why they experience it the same way is because they have the same blood type as us. And just like our blood has memory, we have memory on the food that we ate before. Because you know how like in the biblical text it says, there's nothing new underneath the sun? Well... As far as food and blood is concerned, is nothing new under the sun because we ain't nothing but the ancestors and, and the food and, and everything that we created is already here, it has always been here because think about it like this here. Energy is neither created, I'm gonna say that again. Energy is neither created, I'm gonna say it one more time just in case you missed, missed it. Energy is neither created or destroyed it simply transforms. So if it's not created, that means all that shall be already is. <laughs> that even applies to the food that we eat, right? It's, it is. It always has been. Energy is neither created nor destroyed. It simply transforms. So there are foods that have already been created and existed, just like our blood, the O, the A, the B, <laughs> the AB, it was created from the hierarchy blood type of the O's, right? So that means it was transformed into all of the ones underneath it, but it had already been created with the O's. The O's being the original blood type of all blood types that can give blood to all others, but only accept blood from its, its own kind. That's the energy I'm talking about. So then there are foods that apply to this here law <laughs> that have already been created. Man tries to manipulate the foods. That's like, let's talk about like, like pork, manipulating the pork, manipulating the the, the um, chicken, but food had already been created, manipulating and making genetically modified uh, watermelon, seed less things. Energy, the hierarchy of it had already been created. Man tries to transform it. So since your blood <laughs> and, food, and there are foods that's already been created, you have memory. This is why your blood, when it interacts with certain foods, it gives you a chemical reaction because it already exists. Now we can give you a powerful reaction that'll heal your body, that will increase the microbe diversity, that will discourage any imbalances, that will increase the metabolism of that person, decreasing inflammation and keeping them in perfect health based upon memory. But <laughs> the same can happen if this person eats something that its blood doesn't remember as being beneficial. So it, when it eats foods that's not in alignment with its blood, that same reaction take place 
and it is a reaction of destruction for the body. It'll wipe out the beneficial micro diversity. It'll increase yeast and fungus and mold and parasites in that particular environment. It will cause inflammation, tearing up the gut, putting leaky hole, leaky, I mean gut issues such as leaky gut, uh, lupus, uh, autoimmune disease, inflammation, uh, ulcers, because of the blood having memory and it connected with the food <laughs> that wasn't what was back into the blood memory lifetime, which is eons and eons. So the blood is not recognizing it. And this is how we're getting sickness and disease. Oh my goodness, the birds running into the back door. I put a bunch of food out there and they, they cutting up. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, so this is why I <laughs> believe wholeheartedly that not everybody can be a vegan. Because now we have memory with the blood. The O's have that memory of the blood. Their original blood is hunters, gatherers. So because the O's have the most amount of hydrochloric acid, being that their blood has memory of them being meat eaters, what are they going to do with all of this hydrochloric acid inside of their gut if they become a vegan? Are vegetables and fruit going to tear that up? Okay, let's say, let's, let's, let's pretend, uh, let's pretend we O's. We're O's and we have the most powerful form of hydrochloric acid in our gut. And we say that, um, you know, I, I'm going on a spiritual journey and we didn't heard, you know, from other people, you know, let go of the meat because the meat, all meats is, is destroying you. Don't never, never eat the meat. So now we're O's and we're walking around. We're never, never eating meat and trust and believe. I don't eat meat like this yet. I, 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 um, I only really fool with meat, maybe, you know, I met my max, maybe about five times of the year. And I just had a whole bunch of uh, guests. Well, we just had a whole bunch of company up in here. And Lord knows I was cooking for different blood types. They had an AB, they had the O's up in here. They had B's up in here. They didn't have no A's. But I was cooking for three blood types up in here during the time when we had guests here. And I, I ate and partake in some of their meats and stuff because I had never tasted. I cooked it and I never had tasted these certain meats and foods and stuff, right? And I tell you one thing, I'm done for the rest of the year <laughs> with meat at this point. I feel so because it fills me up and I'm so not used to eating it so much. You know, I was eating it a lot. Well, I won't say a lot, but I was eating it every day and I don't know eat food every day. I only eat maybe two to three days food and then meat maybe hit and miss, right? So imagine me, me as a O, as a meat eater and you as a meat eater O and you have all this hydrochloric acid and now you're saying, okay, I want to become a vegan and becoming a vegan Maybe you don't realize that, you know, there's wheat. <laughs> there's wheat in, in vegan food, you know, there's soy in vegan food. But you as a, oh, you know, you're a new vegan. So you're just trying to get the things that's, you know, that say it's vegan friendly. So you go into the grocery store and you get in things that have wheat, that have soy in there, that have corn in there, causing you inflammation. But you're a vegan though. This, I'm trying to give you the game. If you're a new vegan, this is why the vegans get sick too because they're not eating for their blood type. So you as a vegan, you don't know the beneficial um, foods. Link is in my bio for that, sort of the pug.org for the beneficial foods for your blood type. You don't know that yet though. You don't know, you just go and get the stuff that's already made because you trust in the people at the grocery store to make your food vegan. And you trust in that it's gonna be beneficial for your blood. That's where you mess up at. Trust self, get to know self. Anyway, now you're not eating any meat. You're still consuming things that's against your blood type, causing you inflammation. Let's say you decide to eat more fruit. Ooh, that's going to really mess you up as a O. Because 
some of the fruit are ascetic. Now keep in mind, I just said you as a O, you have the highest amount of hydrochloric acid inside of your gut. Your acid inside of your gut is the thing that's already breaking down. Hey, Sassy. Oh, look at Sassy. I remember you. It's already breaking down your food. That's what your hydrochloric acid is designed to do. But you as a vegan, you decide, no, I ain't eating meat no more. I'm going, I'm going to owe, and all I'm going to do is eat some fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds. So you go wild out on fruit, which are ascetic, and you consume that. Now it's causing you inflammation inside of your gut because as a oh, they don't have many, many fruit that are in alignment for your high amount of hydrochloric acid that you already have. So when you consume, let's say, oh, you're going to take apple cider vinegar. You are oh, and you going to, that's going to be your pre-workout, like, right? then you're going to be on fire because when you mix your apple cider vinegar, which comes from an apple, like, right, a fermented apple, right? When you consume your apple cider vinegar and it connects to that hydrochloric acid inside of you, you on fire. You're damn near about to give yourself a peptic ulcer just for doing something like that because you're not eating for your blood type. But not only this here, you ain't eating no meat. So now you got this big old fire. You a vegan. You done ate some fruit, you done digested some apple cider vinegar, and now your fire, your hydrochloric acid to mix with that, now you on fire to the third power. <laughs> because you don't want to eat meat though. And let's say, okay, you decided, you decided, okay, well, I'm going to eat fruit and vegetable. Yeah, surely the vegetables are going to put down... <laughs> Surely the vegetables are going to put out my fire. Well, no, 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 no. Because then they have vegetables out there that you, as an O for your blood type, need to stay clear away from too. You got to know which ones work for you. At least you develop an imbalance in your gut. At least you develop thyroid issues. A lot of O's deal with that because they get either thyroid issues, they get infective ulcers, they get, they get stuff up in here because of the high hydrochloric acid. So to those people out in the physical reality, that's a O, oh, to answer that, I wouldn't say while out, but I would say hit and miss. If you want to clean your diet, at least go to your fish, something lighter. At, le at, least, at least consume the highly beneficial meats for you because you need support with your high amount of hydrochloric acid. I ain't talking about I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about it as far as, um, telling you to consume the dead animals. Because you know when we get into our spiritual journey, we don't want to consume stuff with eyeballs and all of this and that. But guess what? Your ancestors and the blood of them that correlates with your blood, they did eat these things. I'm not saying go get the, you know, the one at the cheap Wally World or Walmart. No, I'm saying get the one that's grass fed. Get the one that's mostly organic and clean it and eat clean, highly beneficial meats for your blood type. I'm not saying go get the pork. No, no, no. I'm not saying that because I don't say that for anybody to eat the pork. That's the nastiest. The, that's the most toxic of all. And it's not even a real animal. I'm telling you to help you with your hydrochloric acid. You're going to need to digest something like your blood type recognize and remember because that is you staying in alignment with you. Now, you can go out there and become a vegan if you want to. That's my biggest thing, eating dead animals. I get it, wellness. I get it. Me too. Me too. <laughs> but you could go out there and you could become a vegan if you want to. And I've met so many of them in my journey. They always come back as an old. I'm talking about the olds right now. They always come back and they be like, nah, I needed the meat. Nah, I was getting too much of this or this and that and the third. I needed the meat because they have, this is why though, because they have so much of hydrochloric acid up in here. Now you can try like with yams. You can try with like uh, sweet potatoes because both of them are highly beneficial for the olds. You can try with that there. You can find on your highly beneficial food list 
maybe one seafood that you really really like and maybe one meat that you really really like and stick with that you don't have to wild out with them different diverse meats that you never heard of before whatever you can put smaller portions on it but whatever you do realize that when people out here consciously talking about leaving meat alone your hydrochloric acid is kind of fighting a battle against you see we'll sometimes have healers that come before our time that are tell us no you should not be doing da, 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 da. when people stand up there and tell you no what you should not be doing as a content creator as a speaker they speaking based upon their life experiences and their perception of how things work within them they don't normally study how it's working with other blood types so if you listen to people even in relationships you'll see this to be true the people that talk about you know the chaotic relationship the narcissistic relationship or the cheating or the abusive relationship them people be sitting up there talking about that because they done been through that thing and they're talking based upon their perspective right they're not including everybody. So understand that sometimes people ain't talking to you unless they're talking from a perspective of it's be, it being diverse or having exceptions because there's always going to be an exception to it because we have four different blood types. How you going to tell everybody no that they can't, can't eat no meat no more? There's nothing new under the sun. Surely there was some people, some group of people that ate this thing. But then, when they talk about the eggs, now they on to something. So let's say, for example, let's say, for example, some of these healers out here, they A's. Well, guess what? They talking to like-minded energy. They talking to the A's because A's need to be vegetarian slash vegans. Because they lack hydrochloric acid inside of their gut. But opposite of the A is the O. And they thrive as being meat eaters, the hunter, the gatherer. And this is, it has nothing to do with no color of no skin right now. I'm telling you how in the matrix, your body, the diversity of your body is functioning underneath this sun here in this game of life that we playing as far as the matrix is concerned. Now you could go head on and defy through thought, you know, cause thought, trumps all of this but that's when you would evolve to allowing your thoughts to manifest for you the things that you want but when you at low frequency when you at sick frequency when you at inflammation frequency that's lack of serotonin that's lack of dopamine that's lack of the ability to function that's low frequency and that's stopping you from manifesting your wildest dream so it's really really hard for low frequency beings to manifest that they could eat anything that they want that they could be a vegan without the inflammation with all of this hydrochloric acid and thrive and supposed to be the meat eater it be hard because the body be fighting against them the blood be so busy fighting against the food that they put it in there that they can't really have a controlled imagination and the ability to focus like they want to they can't really have that thriving dopamine and serotonin level like they won't do. Not when they're on fire. Because being on fire, a.k.a. inflammation, is equivalent to being ascetic within this body. <laughs> so you, so this is why we have, we have vegans out there that are old and they're sick. This is why we have vegans out there that are A's and they're sick too because they, they consume me. <laughs> the wrong fruits and vegetables. This is why it's so important for you to eat for your blood type and stop doing things based upon what mama said, what grubbo said, what all these other people said because your carbon footprint, your blood is a footprint of your DNA and it already wrote it. There is nothing new under the sun. Energy is neither created, neither created, nor destroyed. It's simply transforming. Yeah. So, so your blood was created you to be that particular blood type. And now you go against that blood type if you want to. 
you experience this ease because that's akin to you not being in alignment with what you came for to be in this lifetime. Maybe next lifetime you could wild out and be an A. You could be a B. You could be an A, B. But in this lifetime, you the all. <laughs> and you, you, you think you're going to tell your blood? No, we ain't doing that. We doing this. You can't do that from a low frequency until you get your mind right. So this is manipulating the energy since energy is neither created nor destroyed. Eat according to your blood type. Get in alignment with that energy. And then you get powerful enough with your mentalism that you can trump all of this thing. And since energy is neither created nor destroyed, it's simply transformed. Well, when you get powerful, now you can transform the energy. Just like the Christ conscious one did. Turning water into wine was symbol symbolic of him renewing the blood within him. And that was his first miracle. When he renewed his blood. When his dormant DNA activated. And it don't matter what your blood type is at that point. It don't matter what food you eat at that point. Nothing shall by no means harm you then. Because why? You've transferred the energy. You transformed it. You trump all of the, the, the physical. You became spiritual. I and the Father are one now. You see what I'm saying? So there is an exception to this. When you get all the way up there with your faith. And when you get all the way up there with your activation of your dormant DNA. But first, you got to activate it. And be in alignment with your blood type to get out of sickness and disease or low ascetic range to get over here to being more alkaline. Yep, I'm reading my book all the time. I also use the blood type app. Oh, when you in the grocery store? Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, Rick and Healing. Yes, yes. I didn't even know that they had an app. That's, that's good information. I'm going to have to look into that. I think that would be really, really cool for people that I'd be consulting with. This is why you must obey the laws of the land and the matrix first. Why is that? Because it's part of you getting to know yourself and getting to know yourself is getting to know God. Yeah, yeah, that is a good, good, good tip on the app information. So you, since all is God, all God, you are doing here, you God, you God, you God, me God, we God, okay? All we're doing here in physical form is experiencing itself. Sometimes God experiences itself in sickness land. Other times God experiences itself in wellness land. And sometimes they swap lands just so that they could experience itself. But this here is symbolic of, of a quarter. Heads or tails, it's still a quarter. Heads or tail, sickness or disease, you're still God. Yin and yang, you're still God. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. last. Says who? God. Because we're governed underneath a law, a polarity that says everything going to be two-sided. There must be male and there must be female principles because you came to experience the totality of God. You get this thing here? <laughs> you get this thing? I had to share that with you all to begin with. Obey the matrix first. Get in alignment first. Alignment and then. Alignment and then. Okay? Alright, let me jump into these um comments. And see what's going on in in the TikTok land. I was off. I was off for uh, um, the weekend celebrating my upcoming birthday. And I said, "Good food." Hey, seven seven seven. Yes, yeah. Above and below. You're right. You're so right. Okay. What causes um, blood pressure issue in the olds? Thick, uh, tacky blood um, from inflammation from things like corn and wheat. And being inflamed, just what I was just talking about, uh, with apple cider vinegar and, and certain foods that work against their blood type. And so their blood or their body would get on fire from the high amount of hydrochloric acid from um, 
from eating maybe things like pork that they're not supposed to eat. All of these things cause not only high blood pressure, you keep it up. You have autoimmune system um, issues. You have um, thyroid issues. You have the gout. You have a list of whatever type of sickness and disease. You just pick one. If you don't change your diet, pick one. And, and you keep on not changing your diet, and you're going to be picking all seemingly. You're going to have kidney. Because here, here we go. You eat it, it causes the inflammation. You keep on eating it, it's going to cause maybe an ulcer. You keep on eating, you know, not for your blood type, it's going to cause a little hole. A hole is leaky gut. You keep on eating, not for your blood type. Now, maybe your skin is starting to look raggedy. You keep on, now that hole that you had in your gut, it's going to cause your kidney issues because your kidneys can't keep up it was trying the kidney poor kidney was trying to keep up with what was trying to be filtered inside the lymphatic system but now you got food particles falling all out up in here you got food particles falling all out in here and your kidneys can't keep up and so now you experience sickness and disease because of that thing too so now you got a ulcer leaky gut kidney issues so let's just keep on going. Oh, then, then you soon gonna be wearing glasses if you don't already wear glasses because since your gut, since your gut didn't got compromised, now you can't see because this right here is a brain and this is the brain too. So this brain gonna be like, how dare you clog me up down here? Guess what? I'm gonna try to get your attention and I'm gonna clog up you up here. Since you want to be in alignment with sickness and disease, you know, and not have the ability to eliminate and absorb up here, well, you're not going to have the ability to absorb this light up here and see those images up here. And that's what causes it. How do you change this? You learn, first of all, what your blood type is. A lot of people don't even know what your blood type is. Hello, chocolate. Hello, Simply. Thank you for being here. A lot of people don't even know what their blood type is. So you go on Amazon.com and you order the Elden at Home Kit. The Elden at Home Kit is really inexpensive. E-L-D-O-N at Home Kit is really inexpensive. Available on um, Amazon. It's a kit that you can purchase and prick your ring finger at home and find out what your blood type is. After you do that, you get, go to my website and you get the meal plan, the, the list of highly beneficial foods for your blood type. And you start consuming them and them only, only highly beneficial foods for at least two weeks to help you get you some hydrochloric acid rebuilt in that gut. To help you get you some digestive enzymes in that gut. To help expel those parasites and get beneficial bacteria back in that gut. And so those old things, parasites, yeast, fungus, and the imbalances will start to come out via your large and small intestines. You'll be releasing it. Um, the trash through your bowel. As far as the kidneys or the lymphatic system, it'll be releasing through your urine. When you drink those beneficial juices and drink those herbal teas, it's on the list. All of this here is on the list for health and wellness. When you do that, that's when you come over to the alkaline side. That's when you experience health and wellness. And it is that easy. Any sickness and disease can be eliminated, expelled from your body. But you have to do the work. You have to put the stuff in the mouth that's beneficial, just like you put the stuff in the mouth that was destroying it, that created the hole. This is how you heal the hole. That created the inflammation. This is how you make the inflammation go away. It ain't gonna go away no other way. At least you put it in there, just like you put the old stuff. Now you can go into to, to, to your mindfulness if you are up to par and you can manifest this thing. But a lot of people that experience sickness invest wellness when they're on fire because their faith or their so-called belief ain't there yet. This is something that you got to know that you know that you know that you know. So when that pain come, it's hard for them to know. When that gout come, it's hard for them to know. When the skin starts to have eczema, psoriasis, and all of these different things, when that blood pressure peaks and they got to sit down, it's hard for them to know. It's hard for them to keep that belief or that knowing so they get out of alignment with themselves. So if you use the foods that's going to help you with, I'm teaching you how to transform energy here. If you use the foods that's going to help your mindset, that's going to subside with the information, it'll help your mindset get to the knowing state of being. 
It'll help you from getting, coming from religion say to being where I'm just going to believe. No, 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 no. Uh -uh, that ain't enough. You got to know. Mm -mm. This is spirituality. You got to know. So the fool's work huh, is almost like your insurance. The fool, when, when you start using the bathroom, you're going to start believing this thing. You're going to start being hopeful. When your skin start feeling um, and clearing up, you're going to be like, okay, okay. This is going to boost your confidence in you being healthier, you being on the right path. Without it, you could do it with mindfulness, but it becomes a struggle for some people and they give up. Say, for example, you on a mindfulness um, journey and you just all mind, but you got a doctor's appointment and not a numbers ain't changed on the blood work that you just got from the doctor's office. With your mind, that that is a smidgen of doubt. You're going to register that. And now your thoughts, you have two thoughts because everything is governed underneath the law of polarity. Two thoughts always competing with each other. Are you gonna be healthy or you gonna be sick? Now the thought that said, oh, you gonna be sick, now it's winning. Now it has more momentum because now you're thinking about that report that you got from the doctor's office. What I'm saying to you is I'm going to help you, oh ye of little faith. Oh ye of little faith, I'm going to help you because I'm going to give you the foods that I know in the matrix that's going to help you with that inflammation. And regardless of what that report says, you know now I, I can't be. It just didn't, it just didn't um, register yet. Those are my old thoughts. No, 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 because when I drunk that juice and all of the parasites and things that came out of me, I know that it's about to change. Maybe the paper ain't pick up yet with my new thoughts, but it's coming. I'm going to stay on course. And that, that's going to help you heal yourself because now you have the knowing. You ain't just believing, you know. And as a man think it, so is he. And that's what's going to heal you. It's going to be the love for yourself. It's going to be your tenacity, your will, your strength to keep on, keep it on, even though them obstacles in your physical reality says different. You're going to look at them things and say, oh, oh, that just, that must just be my old thoughts. Oh, it's not going to cause me to sink. Oh, I'm going to keep on walking on this water. Oh, because I know this thing working for me. Oh. And so this is why we end up experiencing dis-ease and disharmony in any area of our life with manifestation. Because we pay attention to what is, when mindfulness is about what you want. Giving your energy to more of what you want, not what is. I'm teaching you health and mindfulness at the same time up in here. So you could be master manifestators. So you can be creators, cr not creating by default. But creating the desires of your heart based upon what you want. Not, not creating based upon what you did already created. You know, like when you have the, the job with all the messy people and then you go to another job with messy people and, oh, and now you think all jobs are just messy people. No, that's happening because you're creating by default. You're creating based upon your old thoughts and your subconscious mind. But you need to be thinking about a job that has a peaceful environment. That's a family setting. Where everybody get along. But it's hard, like I say, to think about those things when you in the messy job. It's like it's hard when you're sick to try to manifest wellness. Get the meal plan. Quit playing with yourself. You got the insurance that you need in the meal plan. The link is in my bio. Sword of the Earth Pub .org. It's called the seven day meal plan. I created it just for you so you could have some insurance with your faith. Oh yeah, little faith. To help boost your faith. That's what I created it for. To help you along your journey. I did the hard work for you. <laughs> I did the hard work for you. Let me show you how you get there. You click on the link in my bio. This is my home page right here. My home page address is saltoftheearthpub.org. When you get to the home page, it's right there. So you don't even have to scroll down all these. It's right here. These black words talking about eating right for your blood diet, you be jumping up on the screen. And you click on that, and as soon as you click on that, you're gonna see this here image. This is the image of the Eat Right for Your Blood Type seven day meal plan. And it's designed just for your blood type. So when you get yours, since you now know what your blood type is, you're gonna choose option. Choose option, blood type A, blood type B, AB, 
O, or the last option is all blood types if you were cook in the house and you want to know the highly beneficial herbs and seasonings and spices and different things for every member in your family blood. Well, you click on all blood types and that'll give you the, the lowdown on all of the blood types. If you can see that all of the blood types and what they need. And so now you know, you know, if you're cooking, you so you have somebody that's you are old, you cooking, and you have somebody in the house that's an egg, you know that you can't put that cayenne pepper up in there because you looked at their meal plan. You know the beneficial oil for them to you start using that oil for everybody. If you and them have a, a beneficial oil that's in common, you use that one oil for everybody so the oil won't be causing them inflammation, the oils that you're cooking with. You put the shake seasons on the side that don't agree with your body. And don't put them in the main dish. Yeah, I'm teaching you how to save your life. But after you save your life, I'm going to need you to save the life of people in your, in your simulated environment too. Because you're the savior that you've been looking for. You getting this, y'all? Y'all getting this thing? <laughs> All right. Yes, thanks for the app information. Oh, I read that. Let's see. Let me look at some of these comments. Let's see what's going on up in here. <sighs> a great meal to start for the day. I have I have seven of them on the meal plan available for A's, B's, A, B's, and O's. The meal plan is a seven day. I gave examples of a breakfast, a healthy um, breakfast, uh, the juice that they could drink, some fruit snacks and nuts that they could eat. Then I did lunch that they could eat. I did Sunday through Saturday. Then I did um, on the meal plan, I also put a dinner that they could eat, a different dinner each day with the shake seasons, the oils, um, the the herbs and spices that they can use in it. I also put on their herbal teas that they can consume, you know. Then I listed all the things that they could avoid on the second page. I even put a beneficial, this is for all blood types I did this for. I even put a beneficial potion. It's an at-home potion that if you put together this highly beneficial oil of your blood type mixed with certain herbs that it'll heal your stomach so if you too sick to even start get the seven day meal plan and start with the potions it says start here if you're sick on your meal plan and so you put those things together and you start to clean out your liver clean out your large and small intestines clean out the kidneys based upon you taking your personal potion that's designed to heal your body based upon your blood type not based upon what i think not based upon what other people think based upon the memory of your blood because your blood has memory after that the last page on there is the highest of the high of all foods that's beneficial for your blood type i mean the highest of the high so if you just want to eat those highest of the highs and not even fool with regular highs on the meal plan you can do that then on top of that if you don't want the seven day meal plan if you just want to lose weight i have an instant cheat code for weight loss available on my website for just the people that want to lose weight what are these foods what are these fruits vegetables nuts and seeds and teas and and and, and, and the herbs about these are things based upon your blood that will help you not only heal your gut, but the food will help you instantly lose weight because it increases your metabolism based upon your blood type. So when you lose weight, you won't be saggy. You won't have that extra skin. Your stomach won't still be big and you hungry because these certain foods on the instant Chico are designed to snatch, to snatch your stomach back because your stomach has memory too, just like your blood just like your blood. <laughs> so since your stomach has memory, your blood has memory, guess what? Your skin got memory too. So you're on the website, right? I don't have that one at the top. You gotta scroll down for that one. It looks like a bunch of herbs. It's a picture of like green herbs and stuff, right? This is the instant cheat code because there's a bunch of fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds that's beneficial for your blood type. So. Let me get down to this one here. It looks like this here. Weight loss. Weight loss cheat codes. Right here, available on my website. This is for the cheat codes for your blood type. Or you could do this one just like the other one. 
You could do it like the other one. You gave everybody in the family that got obese from that high fructose corn syrup. They got everybody in the family on the high because high fructose corn syrup tricks your brain into thinking that you're hungry when you're really, really full. So maybe everybody in the family overweight because everything up in the house got the high in it because y'all on the high. Just in case you didn't know, your Hawaiian punch taking you on a high, your cold drink taking you on a high, your Oritos taking you, I mean Oreos taking you on a high, your Lay's potato chips got a little high up in there too. How high is you gonna go? How high are you gonna go? Your favorite snacks, I'm pretty sure, is taking you on a high. So you just be high, high, high all day. And when you're high all day, you can't tell somebody that's high all day that they didn't ate too much. No, because they on high. They done lost control of their darn mind. Their mind thinks that they need to eat more or take more of the drug. Here you go. Here you go. This is your fix for your high. This is your fix for your high. This is your fix for everybody in their house high. So you click on this one here. If you're trying to lose weight, you can get the cheat code for your high, which is your blood type. Or you can get the cheat code for everybody in the house blood type because they're on the high with you because you brought it home and you put them on a high because you didn't read the label and you didn't understand what high fructose corn syrup was really really doing to your body taking you on a high how high you gonna go you gonna be high every day because um some people that be on drugs they come down every now and then when you come down off of your high how about you go to the grocery store while you down and run, run real, real fast before you get tempted to go back on another high? And you get you some beneficial foods inside of there that'll kill them little parasites that'll stop you from craving the high, right? Because now the parasites got you craving the high and then the high makes you feel this dopamine effect when you consume high fructose corn syrup. You feel good destroying your body because that's what it's designed to do because you're high. It takes all the little pain away, but uh-oh, when you come down, you're fat. When you come down, you're sick. When you come down, you inflamed. All because you went on a high and you didn't know what kind of high you was on. This is why you're obese. <laughs> this is why you're experiencing sickness and disease because this high then hijacked your brain up here. And so now your brain up here is out of alignment. And so is this brain down here because your gut is a brain. This is why you get gut feelings. This is a brain. So it's clogged. It's constipated. It's full of parasites. I hope you don't think you're going to have clear thoughts while all of this going on with this brain. Mm -mm. We got to clear that up. It's time to come off of the high. Hey, God. Hey, Mark. How you doing, Mark? Just ordered. Hey, Gypsy. I'm so proud of you, Gypsy. That was you, let me see. I just, I, when I looked at the screen, I just saw, yeah, I see it. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy for you on your journey. And all of you um, that have purchased, there you go, there you go to um, the sound. Oh, okay, I must have been offline. For who, all of you who are purchasing your meal plan, congratulations to you. And, and keep in mind, this ain't, this ain't something where you're going to be having to do anything else. When you do this here work, that's it. Game over. Game changer. Life changed forever. You know how they be coming up with these other di different, different, um, you know, weight loss things. Jump up and down. Flip backwards. Eat this. And hope for the best kind of stuff. Well, you ain't got to go through that no more. And when people come on social media platforms trying to bamboozle you, you'll know, I, nah, that ain't for my blood type. Nah, I can't do that. You ever notice how when they have things on social media that go viral, there's always an exception up in that room in them comments saying, well, they didn't do nothing for me. Because it wasn't they was going against that particular person blood type. You ever peep that out? I'm a people watch. I pay attention to stuff like that. So is um is they have one that I always talk about. It's the one with olive oil, lemons, and cayenne pepper. And so I'll be running to the comments, you know. And I, I actually commented on one of them that went viral and I was like, A's, don't do this. Your sensitive digestive system not gonna handle that cayenne pepper. And so the people up in the um blood in the a comment, the ones like, hey, do not for me, it irritated my stomach, it burns so bad. Those are the A's. 
See, once you figure out your blood type, you can stay alignment with it, and then people can't bamboozle you. Because that cayenne pepper going to tear you up based upon your blood type. Because your blood going to create a chemical reaction with that cayenne pepper. And being that you have no um, hydrochloric acid already, you have the least amount of A's, the least amount of hydrochloric acid. When you consume the cayenne pepper, it's going gonna, it's gonna to irritate your gut. And you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna be like, well, why did that to me? Nothing ever works for me. Oh, no, no, no. This right here, this is for you because it's, 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 it's in alignment with your blood type. You click, you choose the option for your blood and everything on that page going to work for your blood. And so diets are gone. Little trends are gone because now you know. Now you got to know yourself and getting to know yourself is getting to know God. That's it. That's, that's all we're doing here. Get to know God, the God within you. Yeah. How do you reduce inflammation, eat for your blood type? How do you feel about eating foods on the neutral list? I consume some of them myself, but in the beginning of the journey, I would say everyone should start for the highly beneficial foods. Highly beneficial because the highly beneficial one's going to create that um, the environment for you to be able to eat the neutral. Like go for the high first, but then after like maybe about two or three weeks, whatever, depending upon how much toxicity you have. But I would say for the average person, two weeks, you know, obese people, maybe a whole month of highly beneficial. But after that, you could throw in some um, neutral, but I would say avoid at all costs everything that's on the avoidable list. Like, like on page three of my meal plan, I tell you the things that you should avoid completely. Like, for example, pork, leave the thing alone. Leave the thing alone. If it's causing you inflammation, leave the thing alone. Find another Find another meat that tastes good and then season it like you did your pork chop. But leave the thing alone if it's causing you that much of sickness and disease. That's just my opinion. Because you're going to be right back in the same boat. But neutral things, I don't see a problem with, you know, consuming them. I got a couple of things on my, um, on my list, like Asian pear is neutral. Like raisins. Raisins is, 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 is neutral, you know. And, I, and because I don't, I don't have that fire no more. My information no more. I mean, you know, my information ain't like it used to be no more. So I could eat that. Okay. Um, I'm on type A. Quit pork four years ago. What else can I do to get rid of diabetes? Diabetes. The word diet is in there. Diet. Eat right for your blood type. Eat right for your blood type. That's your answer. Diet is your answer. Change your diet for diabetes. Diet is right there. It's right there. You typed it. Diet. That's your answer. Let me see. I'm trying to go down here. Hey, God, it's just be love, love, love. Hey, Orange. Thank you for being here. Let's see. Uh, cinnamon. What about cinnamon? Right. Yeah. Um... I'm, oh, what's good for me? It's all listed. It's all listed on the meal plan. The link is in my bio. Click on the picture of me up here and you'll see my website. You go there, www.soulofthearthpub.org and you'll see. I just showed you on the screen how you get there, what the picture looks like. You'll see. And so you download it and now you have it with you. You have everything, your nuts, fruits, vegetables, seeds, just order you so welcome uh nova yeah um i'm all positive what's good for me <laughs> y'all asking the same thing you gotta I, I'm, I'm not just calling out that for each one i'll be here all day and won't be able to answer the questions but um yeah eat for, eating for your blood type eating for your blood type is, is going to be definitely the answer um how can you tell Hi, can you tell me how I can find out my blood type? That's a beautiful question right there. Um, so you go to Amazon and you enter in the words, I mean, you enter in the word Eldon, E-L-D-O-N, Eldon, Eldon at home kit, Eldon at home kit, and you do it at home. You empower yourself by getting your blood type at home. It looks like this, the one that I purchased. It's like a silver pack and inside inside of the little Ziploc that it came with. 
It had a little um, needle for you to prick your finger. It had um, little droppers so you could add water in your blood because you're mixing it together and you're putting it on a cord. And once you put it on a cord, the cord looks, I mean, once you put it on a cord, they have this little cheat sheet. This cheat sheet right here lets you know, lets you know if, um, what blood type you are. So for example, if your cheat sheet looks like the, um, the little pennies at the top, that mean you a blood type O and so forth. And so then you'll know your blood will be on the card. You pricking your finger and you putting your blood in the four little circles, your ring finger, and you're just waiting it for it to dry to see what the picture going to look like. Very inexpensive. Or you could go to the doctor. The doctor going to charge you about five times as much as Amazon charge you. And the doctor going to take a whole lot of um, more blood than that little prick on the finger did. Let's see. Type O. Cinnamon good or bad? Cinnamon for O is neutral for O. So if you're still inflamed, that's not the highly beneficial just yet. It's just neutral. Okay, yes, ma'am. I'm about to do it now. Yeah. Eldon. E-L-D-O-N. At home kit. Find out your blood. There's life and power in your blood and you don't even know about it. Nah, it's crazy out there for those that don't know your blood type. Because let me tell you about you. Doctors know your blood type ever since you was a baby. Now you go over there, they're going to charge you again for it. But trust and believe ever since you was a baby, they knew your blood type. Had they would have gave everybody their blood type, we would have started figuring out. Because all of them O's would have been getting triggered. And we would have figured out, wait, you are old and you can't, you can't tolerate weed and corn? We would have figured this year thing out, right? But oftentimes you're not empowered. This is why you have to go seek and you shall find. You're not empowered. Get out there and get to seeking. Find out what your blood type is. Because it is the same oils that be up in a hospital. And nothing don't be wrong with you. You just had, had some corn. You done, you done ate some wheat. Or you had your liquid wheat called beer. And you done tore up your digestive system. And while you're there, guess what's happening? They're drawing blood on you. They're taking your blood because you have the most powerful blood. Even if it's been tainted, they can filter that blood. Once they take it, they just come back in the room. They'll, they'll admit you as an O in a hospital and just, oh, we're just trying to run some more tests. Come back at every hour on the hour and take some more of your blood, life force from you. But you didn't know yourself. But to know yourself was to know God. And for that lack of knowledge, people are perishing from simple things like that there. They use it to, to, to heal people. It's worth a whole lot of money. People actually sit there and go give blood to pay their bills. In certain areas, it's really, really expensive just to go donate blood and they pay their bill, bills with that. And you sitting on the gold mine O's and don't know your blood type and, and tainting your own blood by default because you can't get off a of high fructose corn syrup. You can't stop eating bread. When your blood is the most powerful one, the hierarchy of the gods walking in physical form. But you don't even know. When you go, when you gonna get to know yourself? When you gonna get to know God? And everybody be like, "Oh, God is so good, yay, yeah, God is good. The God within you is good too." When you gonna get to know it? When you gonna get to study and show thyself approved, rightly dividing the word that is true for you, God, because that biblical text is about you, written for you, to you, about you, God, your old lady. Yeah, that's true. Simply says, yeah. Okay, so that that's that. Wow, that makes sense, sister. Yeah, it does. Mine is be positive. Yeah, bees are really neutral. I'm a B2. Bees are neutral. We really have a real diverse um, blood type. And we can um, escape sickness and disease easily because of that. Because we could eat it from, you know, every aspect of food. You know, grains, you know, seeds, nuts dairy, meat, seafood, you know, we could even have vinegar, oils can't have that, but we should stay away from um, tomatoes, pork, everybody should stay away from pork, but yeah, that's a, that's a good, good, good balance, B is for balance, because we're balanced amongst all the other blood type, congratulations on whoever that is that purchased the meal plan, I feel so happy for you, I just got here, well welcome, welcome, I finally got mine done, O positive. Oh, look at you. Cynthia know her blood type. I feel so happy for y'all. 
getting to know yourself, getting to know your blood type, that's major. That's really important. And tell your children, you know, when you give life and birth to no more children, you know, remember what their blood type is so they can be informed and start eating or rather cooking for them so that they can eat and thrive off of eating for their blood type and not just because you cook that such and such meal and everybody got to eat it. You know, how back in the day, you know, our elders would be like, you're like, what, what were you eating today? Whatever I cook. Because I said so. We got to break out of that because with the elders, we're, we're writing our wrongs. And it shouldn't be just because you said so. How about it be something that, that's beneficial for the people's blood? How about it be that? Since you're the nurturer, you're the caregiver. Yeah. I may have missed it. What about AB? What about them? What is the question about AB? I'm just generally speaking about them all. Uh huh. I just read through the material and it's uh, 100. Oh, okay. Good for you. Blood O and I develop psoriasis at 42. Yeah, you gotta eat for your blood type. You gotta eat for your blood. First time tuning in. Are there foods to help with brain fog type O? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Everything that's highly beneficial. What I'm saying here is helping with this brain fog here. This brain fog leads to this brain fog. So dementia, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, um, what else are we going on with the brain? The seizures, the strokes or whatever. It all starts here first. Something got chaotic in here and took the circuit out that leads to here. Right? It starts here. You know, doctors will tell you, like even on the acidophilus commercial, they'll tell you, 70 to 80 percent of your immune system lies in your gut 70 to 80 so it's safe to say more than half almost all of it is right here so when you clean this here out and this is thriving everything else on the body gonna thrive because everything starts in the gut the life started in the gut everything starts here so you got to go back to the source. You can get you can get all kind of pain relievers from your doctor if you want to. You can get all kind of medications for all these other things if you want to. You're going to be on them for life. And then guess what? They either going to take you out or they're going to stop working. They're going to take you out by clogging up your liver because your body is looking at this thing you putting in called rock, a.k.a. a pill. You digesting these rocks that's supposed to be saving your life. These man-made rocks that the body ain't identifying as anything that is supposed to be electrifying it. It ain't identifying it as something that's supposed to be helping the blood. So it's causing you inflammation too. <laughs> it's causing your kidneys to work harder to break this rock that you done swallow down. If the rock that you're swallowing is not source or created based upon a fruit or vegetable another seed then that rock ain't doing you no good if it's not in alignment with your blood type that rock is not you know what's what it what's going on with it if it works for you you just believe that it will your thoughts is it, it's empowering the rock because the rock don't do nothing for your blood <laughs> And then when they stop, so when they stop working, you know what that was? That was your thoughts. That was your thoughts realizing, figuring it out. Girl, you just swallowing the rock. Nah, it don't work no more. But when you, when you swallow or digest something that's highly beneficial and you begin to feed it, your thoughts ain't gonna play tricks on you like that there because your thoughts gonna keep, make you more hopeful, make you more optimistic, make you believe in that thing, and then you're gonna know. There's, those herbs work for me. Even for my blood type work for me. And nobody can tell me no different. Yeah. What do I need to be eating? User 42 says, for your blood type, whatever your blood type is. Hello, Reggie. How are you? Uh, did you talk about a book? No, I didn't. I'm just talking from my mind, of, of my research, from my knowing, from the meal plan and stuff that I created. 
There is a book, though. Eat right for your blood type. Yeah. You just ordered your cheat sheet. Oh, that's, I'm so happy for you, moon sugar. Oh, I'm so happy for you. How did at home get kit? Yeah, thank you for um commenting that. Let me pin that. That's where you go on Amazon. Elden at home kit. That's what you purchase. I'm so happy for you and that weight that's about to fall off for you. Because I experienced it already. I experienced it. I'm so happy for the inflammation that's going to subside in your body. The inflammation when you're so inflamed and you take those herbs and, and fruits and stuff for your, for your body. Anything that's on your meal plan. You feel like... It's just like you don't know you inflamed until that fire going out. It is such an orgasmic, euphoric type feeling. Like, right? Oh my God. Oh, y'all helping each other out? Okay, good, good. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I must have missed a comment over there. Good for you. My is good, good, good. You're balanced. Now, the at home kit to find out your blood type. Yes. Thank you for posting that. All praises do. I blessed abundantly having found your page would definitely tell many. Yeah, you do that. So I appreciate you being here. I'm so happy you found me. Happy you welcome me into your simulated environment. You called me forward is what really happened. That's good information. Wow, you're so amazing. Oh, thank you. Hey, Regine. Being here. Yep. I would like a consultation. Okay. Uh, that link is in my bio also. I do consultations. I do mentors and um, everything. I think I, I saved it at the top of my home screen for the consultations. Let me see. So you go to the main page. This is the main page where you up. Oh, no, that's my TikTok. Wait. The main page on my website, Soul of the Earth Pub .org. Somebody type the um, website in the comments for me, please. Salt of the Earth Pub .org. Salt, S A L T of O F T H E, Earth E A R T H, pub, P U B dot O R G. And so this is the home screen right here. This is the home screen to my website. And so if you want a consultation, you see my picture right here? My books are right here. I think my consultation is right here. Let me see. Oh, yeah, right there. It's me sitting on a little share a picture of me and you click on personal consultation and that's me and so then you book right there you hit those words right there and it's going to take you to book yours whether you want a 30 minute 60 minute or um or monthly consultation the month one is twice a month i'm sorry twice a week for 30 days that we talk for 45 minutes and that's when you have like deeply rooted issues that we got to re resolve trauma type issues that we got to heal from. If it's about health and wellness, we can talk about that. But the mentorship is really when a person has some deeply rooted issues or they reprogramming or rewriting the old story that they're trying to get out of the cycle from. And I assist them with the day. We go over the old story. We write a new one. We practice mindfulness exercises. I give you work to do, mental work. And by the end of the 30 days after meeting with me for two times a week for 45 minutes, it's like you're checking in. It's like you're renewing your mind. It's like you are, you're coming from low frequency to thriving. And then you're set free. And then you go out. <laughs> It change your reality. It's simple as that. It be that we just on program subconscious programming, and sometimes we need assistance to get off of that programming. I also talk about dreams, interpretations, about health and wellness, um, relationship type issues in consultations, whatever it is general questions. If you just have general questions, just book a thirty minute one, and we can just go over can uh, questions. But if you know that you have onions. To, you know if you got layers of onion to peel back if you do that I would highly suggest you get the mentor um, consultation and don't teach yourself so we can get to the core of what really is behind them layers of that onion yeah you're welcome you're welcome okay anything else let's see wow the dream interpretation yeah yeah got me yeah thank you queen you're so welcome what I need to be eating is listed in the um in your meal plan for your blood type any more questions any more questions y'all tap the screen let me get to uh ten thousand on here